Okay, Beano Black here, folks. And basically, this object leaves in the southeast, okay? And down here, you have the latitude and the longitude of this object, okay? And let's go to... Okay, so here is the data on the close objects today in space. And basically, I'm going to be looking at this top one up here. And we also will look at the one that's far away and realize how large it is because it was this far away. 15 IU. That's way the hell out. And you're going to see how big it is on the eyeball from New Mexico sky. Okay, this is the time it happened. This is the time the data gets loaded in. And this is this one, which is not the closest. This one down here is the closest, I believe, at 0204. Now, you can go through this data. I'm going to scroll down. You can also get on and look at the fireball. Everybody should know that. I just don't want it to get swamped and get it to cut off. So if you're knowledgeable, you can go there, and this will match up because this is what I stuck down and put on Notepad. Okay. Now I'm going to give you the video, and pay attention. And this is looks like the Oort cloud and objects, also that arc that we've seen over top of the sun that gets reflected down to Earth and stuff like that. I.e., this looks like, you see the little nastinoids there underneath there? This is our object that is coming up at the Antarctic. The sun's back here. Uh, let me see if I can stretch the time out. Hang on. So here's a record of the time right here so you understand that it happened at like a little bit earlier than 4.50. Let's, I don't want to drag it back because I'll lose the box. There's the object that comes up. This is our Oort cloud up here. This is our object that comes up in front of the sun down there, and this is not the sun because this is over New Mexico sky, and it's either reflection, and it's not Jupiter because let me show you the data on that real fast. Okay, still same shot. Just scrolled up. Not this. Look at this. Now, this could be a reflection of the sun coming up over the Antarctic, okay, because it's down here. And they said that the southeast, so that basically this is where this comes up and disappears in the southeast quadrant okay this is our second closest object so far today so far okay now this is the supergiant sun that is possibly reflecting or in front of or this is our second sun alaraf that we were knowing about and we're basically getting a sun exchange with the idea that this one's going away now we are a little bit farther earth away from and i'll show you on data in a minute but this is the little dark speck that we see in front of the sun coming down at the Antarctic. You can see the nodes right underneath the bottom of it, right there and there, okay? And you can go back to my old videos. And this is also the arc that we see up on by the sun get reflected down to Earth, okay? That matches with the sun over here coming up over the Antarctic horizon, okay? This is the southeast quadrant here. This would be the west, okay? So the idea that you can't, ha we know we have more than one sun because we have this, all the suns in the supergiants, which are four times and 74 times the size, those differences in between four times to 74 times the size of the sun. Okay, let's go to some data real fast so you know that I'm not pulling crap over you. Okay, this very well could be our reflection of our Oort cloud right here, that long line, as you've seen what I just showed you, and let me go to it real fast, okay? Just flop the screen, we'll go to the video. It should be that there, okay? That's what you're getting there on that reflection there. Okay, now let's go back to that. Okay, so that should be that possibly. Okay, that matches up the best. Okay, so this is your local closest on that, 1642. But that's not the early a.m. time of the 4 UTC. Okay, this is later in the afternoon. So that's for remembering time. These are taken later this afternoon. Okay, 1648 UTC. Okay, now... 1642 UTC. Okay. Southeast trajectory that left. Okay. See the idea? That's your object right there, and it ends up leaving in the, leaving in the southeast sky. Okay. At 4.50, 44 a.m. UTC time. Okay. Okay, more than likely this close object, 1.295 AU, and also being in the ballpark of 1.762 AU, more than likely was 2011 Vidaranyanya, for whatever, I don't care if I said it wrong or not. Okay, more than likely that is it. Okay, and this is the configuration of that. 
And keeping in mind that the idea that Jupiter is behind us Earth now, the Sun is right in the middle of there. Okay, then you have Venus out there, then you have Mercury. So the idea, and they are behind the Sun. Okay, so i.e., more than likely, that when we are looking at here it comes up nice and slow to be a pain in the ass. More than likely, this is Venus and this is Mercury. All right? And not vice versa, this here, which we have now narrowed it down to the idea that somehow or other, that dark speck is either probably that dwarf in front of this little sun that's in front of our sun. And it's in this, this is basically probably a supergiant, possibly. Because we know from looking at the reflection of this, that the idea that this is our dwarf. And it's the same object that we've been seeing up by the sun with the little nanodes hanging off of it or orbiting it. Okay, just like we have the moon and our other objects that we don't tell you too much that there are other close objects to Earth that are in our orbit all the time. Okay, so the idea that Jupiter is behind us. So the idea that it could be Jupiter here getting that reflection from the supergiants and all the sunlight there. And also then that means that that more than likely being the smaller one here is Mars, okay? But this is our brown dwarf, whatever dwarf you want to call that, okay? And here is our sun reflection from the supergiants in front of the sun, okay? Or the idea that it is possibly Nibiru, okay? We know that this is the sun down here. We know that this is the sun, okay? I.e., the sunrise, and we'll show you the specs on the sunrise. And also, look at all these, and yes, even this. The only way that this can be over top of the mountains on the side of... And this possibly could be a reflection. This could be the moon. This could be mountain ranges in the fireball, okay? But not this, not this, and not this, and not this. This possibly, this could be the outline of the idea, the edges of the eye. This just more than likely could be the moon. Let's go to the, uh, the plots. Okay, focusing and saying this is the sunrise, okay? That the idea that UTC... Is GMT, it's to the right. It's 1938 now, currently, or within at least the time that I started this recording, okay? So, i.e., there's a six-hour difference between the central time that you're seeing for sunrise above, that the next rise will be 7.46 a.m. Central Standard Time. That was today. Sunrise is 7.46 a.m. Central Standard Time. You add six hours to that, and that's what time... Uh, I mean, you minus six hours, and that's what time, yes, minus six hours from that. So at 1.46 a.m. was the time of the sunrise in Greenwich over in England, okay? So moving on to our charts. Okay, this is our charts, and basically that's the location over Arizona, okay? So at 6 a.m., There was Jupiter, way over to the right, not over here, because the idea that the data shows us that the idea that the first object shown was at four a.m., almost ten minutes to five UTC Zulu time which is six hours difference, okay? And here's the data one more time, and you can scan back and forth on it, okay? So if I miniaturize this down here and drag this up, you guys understand that the idea that this is the constellation map over Arizona at 6 a.m. That's what you get on the view that we showed you. See, Saturn was way to the east. Mars is right there. It was, should have been the only thing that the idea that since it moves from the east, we'd be going this way, and Jupiter should have been exactly like I was saying, southeast, 
So the idea Jupiter was up to the northwest, like I'm saying. So more than likely, Mars here and Jupiter is the ref. All right, so basically I'll freeze it. And the idea, there's our object. And this is back at the 4.50 a.m. Zulu time. And this is basically, that's our black speck that's in front of the suns that we get. And the idea that this is not the sun. This is one of the supergiants or somehow a reflection of the sun because the sun is right here. And i.e. the supergiants back here. The idea that we have figured out that this is, I believe, we figured Mars and we know that this is Jupiter. Okay? And because that's what basically we have right now at Jupiter being behind the Earth and reflecting and getting the light and you seeing that eyeball view. And then the idea that we have Mercury there, which more than likely is right in line, that that's the smaller spot right next to Jupiter here in the reflection. And then the idea that we have Venus behind the Sun. And also, Mercury is also, but it gets reflected. It's getting just enough light to be reflected over here by Jupiter behind us. And the idea that also, not leaving out of the aspect of the idea that since Mars is in front of the, it also could be Mars that's being reflected up there by Jupiter. But we know that being the biggest, that that's Jupiter. And all this bigger stuff back here, this is not Jupiter, that's not Jupiter, that's Jupiter. This could be Mars or Mercury, no matter. The idea that we have our close object by Earth, we have the data, showed you the data on that, this is basically it. And it came in at that close to IU. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a far away one that's like 15 point something IU away, and realize how large it is. Okay. Now remember, this is the sun down here. We got to nail down the sunrise and everything like that. So remember, at 6 a.m. this morning over Arizona, where all these views are coming from, there's the idea that there was Jupiter up there, there was Mars, there was Saturn. Okay. Earth current sky chart on today's date. Okay? Mars, Jupiter, Venus. Okay? Sun's always right there in the middle. Okay? Okay, and today's date. Okay, and this is the supergiant action. Bataglia, Sanlinth, Capella, and all this is stuff <coughs> is around North America this morning. Okay? 2011 Nevia. Okay? Could also, also possibly be the spot, but no, it really shouldn't be because you can see it's farther way back from Jupiter. Okay, but it could be possibly the part of the culprit. Okay, keeping in mind that we know that this should have been Jupiter and I believe Mercury. Okay, so the idea that this is more than likely our dwarf and that, and that's why they are blocking it on the front of the sun shots. Okay, all right, and this more than likely should have been the moon over Pisces at 6 a.m. So the idea that more than likely in the southeast or basically the northeast, as you can see, northeast, this and how big it looked, that the idea that this is the sun here, and that's more than likely what we saw was the moon in the left-hand upper. Let me go to it real fast. Okay, i.e., I raise it up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. That should have been the moon right there. There's the moon, and it's so close to us, so the idea that we get that close reflection look there. Now, let's look at the distance. The next biggest thing would have been Jupiter, and that the idea that it's way hell out behind us that far out back up behind the Earth, okay? Okay, now this is 12 a.m. over North America, okay? Constellations that we have. Could have been Catalina up there getting the reflection that the idea of the brightness we got up by Jupiter, because we know Jupiter was more than likely up over here. This is the location of these, and I'll give you the, the sunrises. And I th we think we can get it to the culprits of being anything. Uh, this are comets, and the idea that we can get this to operate all right. 4:03 p.m. 6:01 a.m. I think I saw something that was 3 that was 3 a.m. There we go. McNaught. Okay, over Cygnus. So more than likely, we go back up and we'll take a look at McNaught. Was it 3 a.m.? So the idea that McNaught was up over here. So we go to our shot real fast. McNaught would have been below. It could be the idea that that is McNaught. But we know it as being that little dark spot that's coming in front of the sun. Let's 
really fast if I can get the tech out. It looks like McNaught's too high. Legal disclaimer. <laughs>